the gate holding all the weapons, and there were two cops at least, yeah. plus more people were yeah, there. Yeah, he told me he was holding were, the weapons, yeah. We, we turned the weapons in, except I find it later, Bruce England didn't. He had a Gal 8, which is a shortened M16. He Naughty. put it under his coat, and he had a grenade launcher on it. I didn't oh, learn, really? I didn't learn <laughs> that till later. Oh, did you? But right. we were, I told him, you know, you leave your weapons here. We're not going to get caught out there yeah, with weapons. Yeah. So, Diplomatic incident. And, and then I was appalled yeah, was when I got in the forest got and saw how many oh, vehicles yeah. and people are out there. A lot going on, yeah. I said, well, this is ludicrous. If we get caught really out here, this is a public relations disaster. Yeah, you we'll never imagine answer the it, yeah. mail. We'll make the front page Newspapers, paper. yeah. Crazy you guys, U.S. guys in the forest at night hunting UFOs. It's yeah. Oh, my God. Probably didn't, didn't need the attention at these I bases. Said, yeah, well, this is, oh, I, was, I was really yeah. angry. Come yeah, so, I've spoken okay. to, to Michael Smith, right, yeah. and he says he saw an object. He told me that's that's what he told me. Yeah, he showed he showed he he showed me exactly where that was. I've got the exact location. He said it was a red light, a, a big red ball of light, scared the bejesus out of him. Had a had a vertical dark area like a like an eye, uh, which obviously strikes a chord with with your tape. Um, he said, and he said on a later, I know exactly where he was. He was in a triangle, one of those triangular shaped bunkers that you guys had, mm -hmm. um, with the, you know, with the the, the, the horizontal slats and the camouflage mm -hmm. on it. I could show you exactly where he it's was. It's not WSA. Yeah. No, this is out, just, this is out behind East oh, Gate. This is this is west of East Gate at the at the corner. I know where you mean. Behind, yeah, right mean. behind the first, um, the very first hangar that you come to, and about 50, 30 yards away from the from the corner of the fence. Uh, 20 to 30 yards away at about a 15 degree angle he saw this thing stop right in front of him and apparently a guy flanked it and then and then on, on a couple of nights later <clears throat> a few nights later that was when he was at the east gate and he says he saw something that looked like a triangle heading out towards Bentwaters which from here is kind of well the, and the tower way. operator in the WSA Rick Bobo used 12 power glasses and he said the object we could see as bright lights were triangular right uh, that's two people that's two people who's, <clears throat> who mentioned that now, shape about two months ago, my daughter, my adult daughter, who went to school here in high school on the base, was buying some outdoor camping gear in Manassas, Virginia, and she asked the clerk if she, they gave a military discount. And the store manager was standing there, and he asked her, were you in the military? She said, yes. It was, she was in the Army Band in Washington. She's a musician. He said, I was in the Air Force. She said, where were you stationed? He said, at Bentwaters. And she said, when? He said, 1980 to 1982. She said, I'll bet you knew my dad. And he said, what's your name? What was his name? He said, Halt. And he said, oh, Colonel Halt, I knew him well. I was one of the guys that held the weapons at the gate when he went out into the forest. Small world. She tell me about Incredible. it. So she sent me an email with his name and his phone number, and I called him. Of course, I didn't catch him for a day or two. And, and that was Michael? Yeah. Not Michael Smith. No, that Another was... Michael? No, uh, what's his name? Uh, I have it back. Long, is it? No, 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 not, not Steve Longero. Stone no, Longero no, wasn't Steve involved. Yeah, not, not Longero. Yeah. No, he Steve wasn't involved. It? He um, was somewhere Michael. else. Yeah. I have his name, but and I and uh, Robert Hastings. You may not know who he is. Wrote the book UFOs and Nukes. Mm. Oh, you you do know who he is. Cause we, he I exchanged a lot of hey, emails he, with he him. He checked him out and he said, "I have his DD two fourteen. Yes, he was definitely in Bentwaters yeah. then. Yeah, he yeah. was the connection, wasn't he? Between he was, yeah. yeah, and he's actually been very helpful in helping me to find. Oh, he's a good guy to find witnesses. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good guy. I've spoken to a lot of very a lot good of researcher. Yes. Anyhow, uh, this gentleman said, I remember, he said, I didn't exactly see everything you did because from where I was, but I could see something glowing in the forest. He said, That's all I could see from the gate. He said, We wanted to go closer, but we were told we couldn't go off the base of the weapons, so he had yeah. to stay at the gate. But yeah, it's a small world when something like that pops up. Yeah. 38 years What are the chances of that? One of the big things he said, there wasn't Warren wasn't there. Mm. Yeah, both of them say Warren. I did ask him. I did ask both him about of, that. Both yeah. of them said Warren wasn't there. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. fact, uh, Smith was interviewed for the film they're making with Warren and whatnot. And the only thing they asked him, they didn't ask him about Warren. They asked him what he saw. That's all he talked about. He said for the film, he said, mm. I wanted to tell him Warren wasn't involved, but they didn't want to hear that. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah everyone I speak to always ask you know, who was there, because it could be confusion, it could be different times, different places, I always try and work out who's there, just so you can try and get a couple of cross, you know, just kind of cross-reference different statements. Well, nobody has actually said Warren was there. No, nobody remembers seeing him. 
even Bastinza for a little while did say that, but then he, he also made statements that you didn't see him. So. Well, he said when the first guy I ran into when I got back to the dormitory that night hmm. was Warren. And I told him the story. Yeah. There, was that, there was that radio interview, wasn't it? I think it was the first one that, that Adrian did. Um, oh, well, with he, Warren? Yeah, with him, yeah. yeah. And, and you could tell that Warren was guiding him through it, it was, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so much evidence. Well, Adrian didn't want yeah. to be involved. Nobody wanted to be involved. Yeah, and they, sc I don't know what they did to Adrian in the debriefing, but they scared him half to death. Yeah. So. And you can understand that, young, young airman. You know. All right, so yeah. where are we finding indentations? Had right. to be. So 